Good evening, and welcome to Wesley's Christmas Eve service of Lessons and Carols. I'm Pastor Dan King Crady, and I invite you to find a candle to light later during the closing carol sing. I think you'll want it as we join in that wonderful tradition that we have. Come tonight to celebrate the coming of Christ and his birth in our hearts and minds.
Would you join me now in our responsive greeting found there on the screen? The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Wesley United Methodist Church is a diverse and welcoming community united in Christ. We welcome and extend the grace of God to everyone. I invite you now to join in singing our opening carol, Sing We Now of Christmas. Sing we now of Christmas, no sing we hear. Hear our grateful praises to the babe so dear. Sing we Noel, the King is born Noel. Sing we now of Christmas, sing we now Noel. In Bethlehem they found him, Joseph Mary mild. Seated by the manger, watching the holy child. Sing we Noel, the King is born Noel. Sing we now of Christmas, sing we now Noel. Please join us in the call to worship. This year, we dream of world peace. We dream of deep breaths and restful sleep. We dream of love that lasts and suffering that passes. We dream of doors wide open and a cure to disease. We dream because to dream is to believe. For to dream is to hope, to dream is to see. So make room in your being to dream yet again. Of a world without fear and a God that draws near. For it is almost Christmas. Love is almost here. May we dream and hope to believe. Let us worship holy God. Last December, our Wesley bell ringers were joined by the children in a wonderful arrangement of Carol the Bells. We're fortunate that someone recorded them so we can enjoy them again now.
In the beginning, God dreamed of a beautiful world. In Egypt, the Israelites dreamed of freedom. In the wilderness, the people dreamed of safety. In Jerusalem, the people dreamed of a Messiah. In Bethlehem, the shepherds and the Magi dreamed of a new beginning. Then, several years later, Jesus walked this earth and dreams came true. The sick were healed. The poor had food. The forgotten and ignored were seen. The children were welcomed. Everyone was invited to the table, and the world has never been the same. So tonight, we are those who dream. Tonight, we dream the same dreams of our ancestors before us. Tonight, we dream of justice and mercy, of love and kindness, of peace and hope. Tonight, we dream of a God that draws near to us out of unfailing love. May this candle be a reminder that there will be a day when every dream will be fulfilled. And until then, we will be those who dream. Deborah Jongmi Kang, I invite you all to join Christmas prayer. This prayer is adopted from the sanctified art. Let us pray. Ever present God, we come to you tonight with the dreams, admitting that at times it feels risky to dream. At times, it feels risky to ask for too much, to believe in that which we cannot see. Open our eyes to you in our midst. Give us the confidence of Mary to sing into the mystery. Forgive us for giving up so easily. 
For on this night, we remember and celebrate as a radical dream that you dwell among us. Help us to dream of freedom for the imprisoned, food for the hungry, and equality for all. Help us dream bold, radical dreams until the world tells us that these dreams are impossible. Help us to fulfill our dreams with a light that always shines in the darkness so that we may carry our dreams with hope, peace, joy, and love as the birth of Christ, who is with us and teaches us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As we reflect this night on the gift of the Christ child, we are reminded that like the wise men and others, we too can bring gifts to the newborn king out of our adoration and thankfulness for Emmanuel, God with us. Each year during this season, Wesley's Social Action Ministry Committee invites our participation in the Advent offering to support two recipients. This year, the local recipient is Daily Bread Soup Kitchen, a volunteer-run nonprofit organization that provides hot meals to more than 200 people a day and assists folks regardless of race, religion, or ethnicity. During the pandemic, Daily Bread has continued to provide meals and other resources to those who seek them. They receive no government funding and rely completely on funds from individuals, businesses, and local grants, as well as donated food from the CU community. The second recipient of this year's offering is the United Methodist Committee on Relief, or UMCOR, which provides assistance here in the United States and around the world. Contributions to UMCOR go to support their COVID-19 response fund called Sheltering in Love. Since the start of the coronavirus outbreak, UMCOR has been working with medical professionals, faith leaders, and others to equip partners who are helping address health concerns, food insecurity, and other pressing needs. We invite you to prayerfully consider supporting our Advent offering, submitting your gifts through our website giving page, wesleyui.org forward slash giving, or by sending a check to our financial operations manager, Sally Mundy, at 1203 West Green Street, Urbana 61801. Please mark your check in the memo line with Advent Offering or note Advent Offering on our website. Thank you. We appreciate your continued support as we seek to provide God's comfort, hope, and peace in this and every season through our collective gifts. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, from whom all our blessings and many gifts flow, as we reflect this night on the gift of the Christ child, on the gift of your Son, given to the world so we might know your hope, peace, joy, love, and light, we pray you would bless the gifts we now share, that they would be used to bring hope, peace, joy, love, and light into the lives of others, that our gifts would brighten the places that are shadowed, that our gifts would help tell the good news to the world that you, Emmanuel, are with us today and always. Amen.
you join me now in this prayer for illumination as we prepare to hear the scripture readings for this night. Let us pray. Holy God, if we listen closely, we can almost hear the angels sing. If we listen closely, we can almost hear the bleating of sheep following shepherds and the hooves of confused barn animals near a manger. If we listen closely, we can almost hear the innkeeper say, no room. If we listen closely, we can almost hear the star whisper, follow me. If we listen closely, God, we can almost hear you. So as we turn to your inspired word, holy writer, don't let us miss a thing. The smell of the hay, the cool of the air, the way Mary cherished this wild dream in her heart. We want to hear it all. We don't want to miss a thing. So this night we pray, O oh God, help us listen closely. Amen. Luke 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth into Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Scripture reading today is from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 18. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, 
the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. Angels, we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains still reply, echoing their joyous strains. Verses 1 through 11. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it was written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me the word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. i 
Many of us have stood by the crib of an infant and dreamed of their future. Many of us have watched the graduation of a family member or friend and, and dreamed of their next vocational steps. Many of us have attended a wedding and dreamed of what would be next for that couple. Tonight, we celebrate the birth of Jesus as the gift from a God who loved the world so much this night is a time to dream. We come to the Christmas story and we are reminded that we are all dreamers. We are like Joseph who was told in a dream not to return to Nazareth, but to go to Egypt to save the infant Jesus. We are like the Magi who were told in a dream after seeing the Christ child that they should return home by another way. We are like Mary we treasure God's dream of a different world and commit to keeping it alive. We are like those gathered around the manger, filled with awe and wonder and holy imagination for what is possible. This night is a time to dream about what is next. In our consumer culture, we accumulate things to try to gain security or status. But this night, Jesus is born in a manger and our ideas of status are revised. Our dreams for what could happen next are not just for our family and friends, but about the bigger world around us. This Christmas, I invite you to dream your way back to the manger, where divine power comes into the world through the vulnerability of a child. Jesus was born at the time of a census. It's how Mary and Joseph ended up in Bethlehem. With only a stable roof over their heads, Jesus is born. Many in our country right now know the feeling of having no place to go. Eviction notices are on the rise. 
The political powers of our nation have struggled for months to pass legislation to continue a moratorium on evictions and extend unemployment benefits. Not long after the birth of Jesus, the tyrant Roman leader Herod gets wind that a new king is born. Jesus is perceived as a threat to King Herod's political stability, and so he orders all boys in Bethlehem under two years old to be killed. The Holy Family flees for their lives to Egypt. Many children living in our country know the feeling of fleeing for safety and refuge. We live in a time when immigrant children are being expelled from shelters and our country. It is imperative that on this night we join the dream, that we align our lives with the message of the angel who said to the shepherds, do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. This night, we are those who dream for all those on the margins of our society to feel included and valuable. This night, we are those who dream about how God can use us to bring inclusion and justice and hope to the most vulnerable in the world. We dream of ways to challenge political posturing and apathy. We dream our way from the manger forward. We dream of what God's love can do through us. We dream for our dreams to line up with God's dreams. We dream together as God's community, using these words of a Guyana poet, Claire Smith. I dream of a loving world where we see each other with God's eyes. I dream of a resourceful world where we cherish the unique gift of each other. I dream of a hopeful world where we recognize the power of God's grace to transform and make new. I dream of peace. This night, Listen as Wesley folk share their dreams for their families, the church, the nation. Hear now from some of those among us who dream for the future. And then ponder and dream what God is calling you to dream for this world. I dream and pray for a world where we value all of God's children and provide an avenue of support and success for each and every one. And I also dream of giving a big hug to all my loved ones. Hi, we are the Whiteley family and here are some of our dreams for the future. I wish that coronavirus will go away soon. And I wish that we could go back to church and everywhere else in person soon. We wish for a world of kindness, of happiness, of peace, and of thinking of our neighbors as much as ourselves. The dream that Anne and I have for the future is one of healing. Healing from the pain, hurt, and suffering caused by the pandemic. Healing from the pain, hurt, and suffering caused by systemic racism. And healing from the divide that is growing in our nation. I dream of a world where our leaders affirm that black lives matter. I dream of a world where everyone is healthy, helpful, and calm. I dream of a house full of loved ones gathered around a dinner table, sharing memories and creating them as well. And I dream of hopes and wishes being fulfilled in unexpected ways. I dream of one-on-one face-to-face visits with those I love. I dream of laughter as family gathers around the dinner table. I dream of spending more time with my granddaughter, watching her grow, of traveling to places yet unknown. We We dream dream of of the day day when we can can all be together together again in Wesley's lovely worship space. May it be so. I dream of a world where everyone has a shot at a better life, regardless of sex, race, age, religion, 
ethnicity, or sexual orientation. I dream of a world where our values of honesty, empathy, and compassion are reflected in our leaders. I dream of a world that promotes international collaboration, understanding, and mutual respect. I dream of a world where there is justice for our black and brown brothers and sisters. I dream of a world where we find peace in our hearts. We dream of a world without borders. Where all are welcome. And opportunity is available to everyone. My name is Savannah and my dream for the future is to be able to have marching band season again. My name is Megan and I dream for a better year in 2021 than 2020. My name is Elliot and uh, my dream is to have fun with my friends. I just want to fly more in the snow school shootings. Good. I dream of a world that has more wild places where people can go and experience nature. I dream of a world where there are humane alternatives to incarceration. <laughs> we dream of happiness and peace and love and This has been a challenging year. But Christmas reminds us that we are part of a tradition that is about meeting challenges with the light of Christ. Transforming our hearts and helping us light the world. That is our wish for this Christmas and beyond. Merry Christmas. This night, of all nights, we want to be together with, with family, with friends, as candles are lit and carols are sung. A favorite poet wrote these words just for this Christmas, 2020. Oh God, we long for better days when we can be together to celebrate your love and grace in Jesus Christ, our Savior. We long for silent night in crowded pews by candlelight. May we who now stay at home find your Christmas blessing. Find a candle to light as we sing together. I don't know about you, but uh, when we get to a little town of Bethlehem and, and we sing out, yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light, I'm going to be lifting my candle high. Merry Christmas.
This is the benediction for all of you. Jesus Christ is born today. Heaven sings and earth rejoices. May the light of Christ lead you all to sing a song of salvation. May the light of Christ guide you all to carry your dreams with hope, peace, joy, and love. May the light of Christ empower you all to serve as disciples wherever you go. Go out into the world to love and to serve with the Holy Spirit. Let's share the peace of Christ be with you and also with you. Mm -hmm.